A CNM student living with a serious medical condition is claiming the school is not accommodating students with disabilities. Now his case is going to federal court. News 13's Jackie Kent is live at CNM with that lawsuit. Jackie. Dean, the student says he was mistreated, even getting his service dog kicked out. The lawsuit states reporting that incident only caused more problems for him. I want to help get into cybersecurity. I really thought that, that was the way I could get to a career path that's similar to being in law enforcement. But Derek Scott, who is wheelchair bound as he battles multiple sclerosis, says that dream to get his degree is taking longer than expected. Unfortunately, he has been systemically, even actively discriminated against and retaliated against by individual administration, staff, and instructors at CNM. The CNM student is now suing the community college, the governing board, and Disability Resource Center, stating that in the fall of 2017, an administrator at one point even kicked out his service dog for barking in the school. One of the other instructors also in that building used significant profanity, began yelling and ordering Mr. Scott and Mary Bell out of the building. It was shocking disturbing and embarrassing. After his complaint of that incident to the Disability Resource Center, he claims instructors and staff retaliated against him by denying him necessary resources. He's been denied accommodations for test taking. That would include additional time or a particular location for a test to occur. Scott says that caused his grades to suffer, forcing him to retake classes and pushing back his graduation date. So I'm going for an associate's and because of the hiccups I've had, it's lengthened that time, usually be two or three years, but it's ending up to be three or four years. His attorney says a better approach for CNM to handle similar problems moving forward could come down to more training. For not just those individuals directly involved with the creation of accommodations, but those individuals who are in a position to implement and act upon them. Scott says the school agreed to drop one semester of classes from his transcript without affecting his GPA and to reimburse him for those classes, but he says he's still waiting to get back some of those costs for tuition, books, and fees. Dean, back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. That case has been moved from district to federal court. Scott's attorney says they hope to resolve it before it goes to trial. Edgewood.